we've come here looking for white sharks. As an oceanographer, I'm interested in asking the question, what do they all eat? Where are the plants? What fuels this? It's very easy to go on, on the web and uh, find satellite images of uh, chlorophyll A in the Pacific. And if you do that, what you will get an image of this place as a giant purple blotch, and the purple codes for very little. The secret to this place is that there is chlorophyll, but it's subsurface. So the chlorophyll peak is actually happening pretty deep down in the water column, and that's something that the satellites simply can't see. Plant life, the phytoplankton as we call it, um, have some unique set of challenges to overcome. Somehow they have to stay afloat in the water column. They can't sink because if they sink, they lose contact with sunlight. And one of the big solutions is you become really small. Most of these organisms, the phytoplankton, are only visible by microscope. For our trip, the bigger question is not so much what the individuals look like, but how much of this energy is present in the ecosystem that we look at right there. It doesn't look like there's much going on, except that there is. It's, it's a little bit like trying to uh, work with organisms that they're, they're like the clouds, right? How do you sample that? So we're on uh, an airship over the clouds, and we have to somehow study what's in the clouds. So uh, what, what goes on is we lower our CTD with these bottles, and the bottles close when they are in the cloud and bring us a sample of what's in that volume. Um, we filter that and extract all of the cells that are present in that volume and then uh, make a more careful analysis of the exact concentration. Ultimately, we have to come here to make these measurements uh, because only through the measurements of how much fundamental grass growth, plant life, uh, how much that energy can fuel in the ecosystem, how that can cascade up to bigger things to squid and big squid and fish that are shark food. Um, and I think uh, we're, we've taken great steps to get there.